Hi, I'm Glendy with Glendy's Water Babies. I'm keeping you in the know about pool safety and water safety. Parents can keep their pool safe by um, many layers. Uh, locks on the back door, locks high on the back door, uh, a fence around the pool, um, keeping your eye on your child when they're in the pool, put your cell phone down. Um, don't even take a cell phone to the pool. Leave your cell phone in your beach bag or at home. Keep your eyes on your kid. Um, having a camera on your personal pool at home, uh, have an alarm system. You can do several of these things. Uh, I have one on my pool that alerts me if there's movement or if there's a person. Uh, if there's a person around the pool before they even get near the pool, it picks up and it alerts me on my phone that a person is near the pool. So if you have small children, it will pick up small children as well. But a gate around the pool, but the most important thing I think, and it's not because I teach it, is actually teaching them to swim. Water safety training usually takes five days initially for them to be able to um, uh, do the skills they need to save their life. It depends on what age you start them at what level, but on the average, I have them twice, six months apart the child will take and learn the water safety part. In other words, to be able to uh, turn over in the water and get themselves to the side. And then six months later or the next spring, I will get them in and actually turn them over on their stomach and they'll start swimming, big kid swimmers. My process, or I call it the method, um, I learned this from Phil Hensel, who was a U.S. Olympic coach and a uh, guy that uh, consulted at University of Houston. He um, had this method of uh, teaching children to swim, and I picked up on it. I've condensed it to five days, Monday through Friday. Um, it depends on the age and the um, motor skills of the child of how far they can go but they do hit a ceiling after five days of what they can learn. I teach the parents on the fifth day of how they can practice with their child and how they can continue that education the next couple of steps that will take them through that particular summer. And then I'll see them again in the spring to follow up and continue the education. It's building blocks. First step, then you build right on top of those skills and you keep going. A lot of times I have kids that go on swim team that I continue that education through their swim team years. Dry drowning is a chemical reaction in the lungs that happens when exposed to chlorine. Chlorine is a, a drug, a chemical, and uh, constantly being sucked into the lungs where it affects the bronchioles in the lungs. And, uh, after long exposure of chlorine in the pool. And if you lay down and take a nap, for instance, like a child, uh, the lungs will foam from every orifice and it cuts off the air supply. So therefore it's called dry drowning. It's not a drowning in water, but it's a drowning caused by the chemicals in the pool water. If you'd like more information, you can go to glendyswaterbabies.com.